FA is such a, a rare disease, such a small population that we really have to to get together and fight this thing together. We gotta you know band together and um, and lean on each other in this fight. When I was young, I was a very active kid. I played baseball, basketball, I was a golfer and a skier and I mean just all activities and uh, when I was 17 I was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia and we had no idea what that meant. Me and my family had no idea what the future was going to hold. We found out that it would only be a matter of time before I'm in a wheelchair. It would only be a matter of time before I lose all ability to take care of myself. And it would only be a matter of time before my heart failed and I suffer a premature death. And so that was, that was the news at the time and that was a really tough time for us to try and digest what the heck this was going to mean for the rest of our lives. And, and so we dealt with those facts for a few years and um, a few years later, you know, I graduated high school, I went to college and got a degree in civil engineering. And, uh, and I got a decent job. And all the while, I was losing the ability to perform in these sports that I love. And, and so when it came time for me to give up my bicycle, I kind of put my foot down, you know? I said, that's enough. It's enough of losing all these sports and activities that, that mean so much to me. And I found a way to keep riding, and I found a recumbent tricycle. And I started doing these bike rides. And um, I, my first ride was seven miles. And I just started building up from there. My next ride was 14, then, you know, 25 and 50. And then I rode a century, 100 miles in a day. And I just couldn't believe what I'd done. It was, it was just the most amazing feeling. And I just wanted to keep feeling that more and more. So I decided to do a bike ride from San Diego, California to Memphis, Tennessee. And it was 2,500 miles in 59 days. And we, uh, we just had an amazing adventure. I think about it every day. It was me and my dad on the road for 2,500 miles. And it was absolutely amazing. And so since we finished that ride, we've done several more rides and we've gotten a lot more people involved and it's just become a totally empowering situation that we've we've turned this totally hopeless situation into something completely amazing and and we're doing things that we never would have done if it weren't for this disease and so it's a little bit counterintuitive you know it, it sometimes I'm almost grateful to be in this situation and to be able to make a huge impact with my life. I think it was after college when I was like, all right, I've done everything, you know, I've done what I'm supposed to do until now. Now it's time for me to decide what I need to do with the rest of my life. And I'm in control, you know, I've got my degree, I, I made the grades, you know, I did what my parents told me to do, and now it's time for me to figure out what I need to do. And I need to make an impact with my life, and so I, I feel like I sort of made that decision at that point, and then it obviously took a number of years to figure out what exactly that meant. But, but it was that decision that I keep going back to constantly and I go, all right, I am committed to making an impact. I'm not sure what that means day to day, but, but I'm gonna make an impact, period. We did a 3,000 mile bike race from San Diego, California to Annapolis, Maryland. And it was literally Pacific Ocean to Atlantic Ocean. Like we started on the pier in Annapolis. And we ended on the dock in, or excuse me, we started on the pier in Oceanside. We ended on the dock in Annapolis. And uh, it was just an amazing thing. I mean, it was, a, it was a true struggle, 24 hours a day riding our bikes. And uh, so, and you know, it, it definitely, mimics the struggle of the FA where you know we're just up against this huge 
blocking our lives and we just got to power through it and or or figure out ways around and just get it done and uh, that's what we did 24 hours a day we finished 3,000 miles in eight days eight hours and 14 minutes My goodness. and we we had a four-person team and we rotated two of us have the FA so me and another guy we both have the FA and uh, and we, we definitely suppressed ourselves and hopefully a lot of other people. There's a few researchers actually in the FA community that inspire me. One, his name is Rob Wilson. And um, and he's always just been kind of a a, a quiet voice that that I've I've listened to and um, you know He's so confident that that we're gonna get there and we're gonna find this. Obviously, he doesn't know exactly how. Um, there, there's a lot of promising research that he himself personally is working on, and lots of other people. But it's a matter of just doing it and seeing what happens, you know. And being so focused on the goal and doing what's in front of you. And um, so those are kind of the people that inspire me. Another huge inspiration is my family my mother and my father who just they just support me and and go along with my crazy ideas excuse me and uh and just get get things done you know and and that's the kind of people that inspire me i mean that are out here to make an impact and and actually do it you know let's talk more rock right and uh, i think that's kind of what we're doing today mm -hmm.